On the music side for film, I'd say do the following things. Look around your community, whatever your community is. There'll be other young people your age making film. Find them. Look at all of their work. Pick the one who's smart. Pick the one whose work is interesting or groovy, even if it's tiny experimental film school stuff. You can tell. Take a look at it. Does it touch you? Is it smart? Does it get to you? Is it about something? Hook up with that person and say, let me do the music for your film. Whoever they are, they have no money. Whoever they are, they've maxed out their uncle's credit card and borrowed too much from their dad and their girlfriend sold her car and they're generally screwed up, you know? So they need music and they need it for free. And you have an opportunity to associate yourself with a cool piece of film and learn how to make it all work at the same time. And, you know, on the filmmaking front, I've always said, I mean, the filmmaking is terrible because it costs so much money to make a movie. But I always felt that if I couldn't raise the money to make a movie, I'd just rob banks and make movies, you know? Because they need to be made. And I feel the same way about music, you know? While it's not as expensive as film, thank God, and it's more accessible in that way, without stunning music, a film doesn't exist. It just doesn't. It's not a film. It has a sound component. It has a music component. Those components are utterly critical. So I'd say to young people, look around your neighborhood, find out who the hell is doing interesting work, jump on it, contribute something, take some chances, or if you can't find anyone making films around you, make one yourself. It's not so complicated, you know? Borrow your aunt's DVD machinery, you know? Find a camera somewhere, shoot something, try it. If you can't find anyone who wants to watch it, post it on MySpace, post it somewhere, put it up, somebody will look at it. Maybe you get no response. If you don't get any response, then you have probably violated Billy Wilder's rules for filmmaking, which are the same rules that apply to music. And Billy had three rules, and Billy Wilder, of course, famous director who did things like Some Like It Hot and lots of remarkable movies. His rules were, don't bore the audience, don't bore the audience, and don't bore the audience. You know. That's a good rule. Sure is, all three of them. <laughs>